this kind of map comparison interface might be very useful in order to compare the same area map from two different time period or for the change detection analysis in today's video i'm going to show you how to implement this swipe button uh, in google earth engine to compare your map uh, in a better way so let's get started all right so in order to get started with my code so i created my area of interest with uh, this polygon option and it's near the pohara so simply hit this option and then draw your boundary right that's my area of interest and i rename it to the aoi and here is my rgb visualizer uh, don't worry about it i'll show you when uh, i reach to that code and uh, here is my data set so for my data set i use the copernicus as to harmonize data set uh, and then i filter the date uh, from 2018 year and then i also filter the cloud pixel percentage uh, up to like 80 percent and this is, this code is just to show you like how to uh, add that comparison button and then how uh, how to like remove the cloud so basically here i'm also filtering based on aoi and then i'm ma mapping over all the image to clip all the image to my aoi and here my required band are 432 and maybe the 8 8 is nir band and 432 is rgb band and here i'm taking the median value and then um, extracting only the four band and this is my data set with cloud uh, layer right and for the without cloud layer so uh, basically i map that data set this this uh, image collection to like max out my uh, cloud from sentinel to imagery and that function is written over here so basically based on like qa uh, bit max so qa 60 uh, band so it will max out the cloud in cloud shadow so yeah those are my two layers data set with cloud and without cloud right in order to create that split button you need to create the uh, left map and right map for example for the left map uh, i can use the uh, ui dot map function which will be my left map and then uh, from left map i'm uh, removing this control visibility that means these buttons and then also i'm adding uh, my data set with cloud in the left map and for the rgb visualizer so it's the visualization parameter so basically it has like band 432 and then minimum and maximum pixel value and opacity right and this is data set cloud layer and in the right map similarly i uh, removed the uh, control visibility and then added the data set with cloud layer and same visualizer i'm using in both like layers and then this is data set without cloud right and uh, this is the key part of this tutorial so basically in order to split your map you can use ui dot split panel function so using this function so you you need to pass the first panel second panel and then your style and wipe so if you say wipe equal to true then uh, your map will be like uh, wipe out like wipe button will be uh, available there so i'll show you what happened if i set it to false and this is the other key part so basically uh, in here so i'm creating ui root dot widget and then i'm resetting my panel to the like this one to the split panel so basically it will automatically like add the split button and then here i'm also adding the linker so that my left and right map will be linked to each other uh, using ui map linker and left and right map right and in order to like uh, zoom my map into the area of interest so i set left map dot center object aoi 10 and then uh, the same thing will be applied to the right map uh, because we are already implemented this linker function right 
and uh, yeah that's all and if I run this cell so I will get the cloud image in the left side and without cloud image in the right side so as you can see it here right so if I wipe this out so you can see in the left image I have lots of cloud but in right image I don't have any cloud so let me zoom into one of the specific area maybe here somewhere here all right so let's see it more closely okay so you can see there are lots of cloud but if I wipe this out so my cloud max function is working properly and you can easily compare the two maps so basically uh, in this way you can compare like all other type of like maps from like maybe from two different uh, years for example left map can be from 2018 and right map can be from 2024 and you can compare those two maps right and the other thing I want to show you is if I set the wipe to the false then uh, basically I'll get the two map interface representing same area and the best part of this map is like if I zoom in or uh, like if I like navigate my map then another map will be automatically zoom in or zoom out and then uh, it will be linked properly right and yeah for example if i zoom into the same area then uh, you can see the same area in both interface so this is in the uh, alternative way of like comparing your map so yeah that's all about this video i hope uh, you enjoy it if you enjoy it hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching